So what we have is reignitable, reusable rocket engines, and that is what I think sets us apart. So we can, you know, use the engines that we have over and over again, so by the time we go fly with them, it's like, you know, a commercial aircraft. This is the Lynx engine that we're, uh, we're working on. As you can see on that side, that's where the liquid oxygen tank is, hidden behind this uh, white cover and kerosene tank. So it runs on oxygen and kerosene. This is the whole pump assembly, and then out here is where it comes together. So we have one engine built up, engine number three as we call it, but ultimately it'll have all the four engines up and running uh, for propelling the Lynx. What sets X-Core apart is the fact that we have piston pumps, which is based on automotive technology. Uh, so we, can, we leverage on an industry that, that you know, has evolved and, uh, and developed into a very uh, reliable and, and uh, great product. This is where uh, Lynx is being built, the prototype. You can see that uh, the stand that you see at the back um, is where the liquid oxygen tank ends. Forward of that to the cockpit is where the liquid oxygen tank is uh, situated. Then in the wing strakes is where the kerosene goes. Uh, you see the cockpit, it's a two-seater sitting side by side, so pilot on the left and uh, either a scientific payload or a spaceflight participant or a mission specialist on the right. Offset a little bit so we're not rubbing shoulders when we're wearing the, the bulky uh, pressure suit. So here you see a, a first mock-up or a, a representative setup of the windscreens of the Lynx, the outer screens. We have uh, two screens in, in Lynx, one on the inside or the curved ones that you've seen on the front of the uh, prototype. That's the pressure vessel, if you will, to keep the pressure inside. And then this is the windscreen that, uh, that's on the outside to take the, uh, the heat stress on, uh, on high speed or, or re-entry. Next is uh, the wings, they're being built somewhere else, uh, we've outsourced that. And then at that rear where that uh, structure is mounted, that is where that engine will be fitted and ultimately that should be flying hardware to just simply be mounted on the vehicle if we go fly and back on the truss stand for testing. Our goal is to make space accessible and ultimately we have to go orbital and even beyond there. But uh, to be realistic, you know, if we can get to a, a suborbital vehicle the way like Lynx is, is projected to operate in, in a few years, I think that's already a great achievement. <laughs>